Hey, Bob is Sponge, SpongeBob, SquarePants. Hey, hello. Hi. <laughs> <Me you. laughs> que mantener el estilo con ese fondo. Oh, yes. Okay. How is everybody doing tonight? Hello, welcome. Are you guys ready? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good, good evening. evening. Welcome. Sure. Okay, welcome. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, how are you today? Uh, well, mm, from one to ten, it's uh, stressful. Oh, stressed. Okay. Yes. I... How come? Did you have a lot of things to do today? Yes, um, I have a lot of. I had a lot of meetings. Um, a lot of requirements for the users. Okay. Uh, I have to. I had to fix um, some problems. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, those 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 situations makes mm -hmm. me stress. <laughs> okay, so you have to face a lot of difficulties, right, today. Difficulties. Yes. Okay. But I see you here. So let's forget the stress just for these two hours. Okay. And let's have fun. Let's try to get into a new world. Okay. <laughs> this is the new world and we okay. want to have fun just a little while. Okay. And we want to learn something new today. So welcome. Welcome. And let's try to uh, unstress. Right? Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I see just a little, I mean, just a few of you. So I see everybody may be are on their way home because I see that we are, there are only 11 of us right now. <laughs> okay, they are joining. There, they are joining. Okay, do I have enabled this thing? No, I disable. Yeah, it's all disabled. All right, people. So let's start the class by making this short feedback. Okay, let's make this short feedback. You are going to tell me what we studied yesterday. What did we study yesterday? Do you remember? The process, the process, the target, and the development launch. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is the product 
development. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, guys, but just give me one second. Just give me one moment. Allow me, please, just a little while. We're going to continue just in seconds. Uh, I'm sorry, you were saying something. Um, I think it was Carlos Alberto, right? Carlos Alberto was talking. No, Edwin Antonio. No, Nelson. Okay, Hosman. Carlos. <laughs> Carlos, right? Carlos Alberto. Okay, please continue. I, I apologize. Oh, Carlos Ernesto or Carlos Alberto estaba dando su opinión. Carlos Alberto. Me teacher. Ah, okay, yeah. please. I really apologize. I had something on my computer. Mm -hmm. Okay, then let's go to the feedback, I think, right? Let's go back to the feedback. So we were saying that we were starting yesterday about the product development process, and we are trying to achieve some vocabulary that it's going to be helpful for us, maybe in our works, maybe in a different area, maybe you are studying something and you want to get a scholarship so you can achieve this new vocabulary and you were going to uh, put it to work, okay? So let's remember, what are the stages of this process? Do you remember the stages? Mm. It was the process step-by-step. Step. Yes, it's a process step-by-step. Step. So we said that it's compound by some stages. We said four and one example, and we said seven or eight in the second example, right? So if it is a process, it has stages, stages. So these stages um, have in them a, a really big process, and maybe they are like a cycle, right? They are, they are a cycle. So let's remember the stages. What is on as stages? Number one, mm -hmm. number two, yes, that one. And number three, yes, you did it. Okay. <laughs> okay, vamos de regreso. Vamos de regreso y recordemos. La número uno, acuérdense cuando hicimos el producto de papel. Huh? Brainstorming. Okay, brainstorming, yes. Right. So those are ideas. 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 You come up with three or four or five or six, whatever is the number of ideas, uh, you are going to decide and you are going to pick one of those. What's that other stage? When you pick, idea screening. Yes, the idea screening. You pick the top, right? You pick the best idea. You choose the best idea. And after you chose them, I mean, you chose this idea, uh, what's the next step or the uh, next development, stage? Testing. Okay, the product development, it means to create it, to uh, bring it to life, right? Or to make it, to produce it, and also to test it. So when we test it, what do we do? We do or we make a marketing a model right a model a model remember and it yes. an example a sample yes. a prototype remember a prototype. we create the, the sample we create the first uh real product we produce 
this product at least in a different scale. Maybe it's not going to have the same features or the same measurements of the original that, or the one that you were going to produce in mass, but it's going to be like a prototype and you are going to be testing this as if, I mean, you're going to get the feedback if it works or if it has something wrong, okay? And after that, what is the next stage? Launch. You launch it. You, uh, yeah, you launch it because they were four, right? They were only four. Decíamos que en cada una de esas stages tenemos otro vocabulario dentro de eso, ¿verdad? Pero dos palabras muy importantes que solo estaban ahí en el dibujo y no las mencionamos ayer era the costs of resources, ¿verdad? The costs of resources. ¿Quiere decir eso? Los, los costos de los recursos de implementación. Disponible, exactly. Mm -hmm. Disponible. So we were talking about materials, money or capital, right? Or maybe we are talking about all Equipment. the... I'm sorry? Equipment. Equipment, yes, the equipment. Mm -hmm. Tools that we need. Mm -hmm. So installations, yeah, it will be like the... Um, a factory and all these ma machinery that we will need to produce or to implement um, to mm, take this product into life or to mm, create this new product and put it in the market, right? So those are resources and we have to consider the costs El asunto es que nosotros pensamos que los costos normalmente vamos a decir, ah, sí, solo a proyección. No, también en el brainstorming se requieren costos, ¿ok? Tenemos que pagarle a los diseñadores, tenemos que pagarle a los ingenieros, tenemos que pagarle a todo el equipo de mercadeo que está detrás, ¿verdad? Haciendo el research. Eh, la investigación, tenemos que ver qué recursos tenemos, cuál es nuestro mat material o nuestra fuente, quiénes van a ser nuestros proveedores en nuestra idea todavía. Ok, eso es dentro de cada stage, tenemos un costo. Y también, obviamente también hay failures, failures, fallas. Ok, the failures have to be fixed before going to the next stage, okay? Before going to the next stage. So, esas eran las dos palabras que se nos quedaron ayer. Costs of resources and the failures, right? Y que van dentro de cada etapa, ¿verdad? No solamente es que uh, el costo de producción de estas gotas para los ojos, ¿verdad? Um, y ya estuvo, no, 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 no. No solo es el, eh, lo que gasté para crear, eh, producirlo acá físicamente. Tengo que contar todo el costo de producción desde mi idea, ¿ok? Desde el, el proceso de creación. Ok. Vamos entonces a comenzar nuestro día de hoy. Primero, eh, pidiéndoles que por favor todos Turn your camera on, and when you hear your name, you will say present. Okay. And today is, what day is it today? Today is Tuesday, March 21st. Okay, great, thank you. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Miss Blanca. Okay. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Okay. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Present. Carlos Ernesto. 
Alberto Hernández Cepeda. Present. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Ok, déjenme cambiar esto para que pueda yo también ir viendo en la... No me dio mayor problema. Ok, sí. Solo quito. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez, dijimos, ¿verdad? Ok. Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Present. There you are. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present. Ok. Eulice Torres Torres. He sent a message. To the chat. Visto el chat ahorita. O sea, uy, lo tengo topado. My God. Es que fíjense que tengo un problema con el cargador. Entonces, siempre, ¿verdad? A último momento, ¡pum! Todo estaba bien y una cosa falla. De veras que a veces uno piensa que los programas en vivo son más difíciles que los grabados. Pero... <risa> Vaya, vamos a ver. Por aquí lo tenemos. Oh, Rafael, ¿y tuvo problemas para unirse? Yes, teacher, my internet was slow, oh. slowly, but oh, okay. now I'm okay. 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 The, ¿En el chat de acá del Zoom lo puso o en donde no se fijaron ahí? En no, el WhatsApp. En el WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Oh, sí, sí, ya lo vi. Lo vi. Do we have WhatsApp group? Yes, we do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Eh, you, uh, I think you received the link through the WhatsApp or through the confirmation email that you were enrolled. I won't be able to connect. Okay, okay. All right, just allow me to get this. Thank you very much for telling me. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. Miss Fátima. Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. Present. Welcome. José Salvador Thank Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here. Okay. José, perdón, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Karen Iset Sánchez Castro. Miss Karen. Oh, thank you very much, Raúl Ernesto, for uh, sharing the link. Thank you. Ahí está el link en, el, en los mensajes, ahorita en el chat de aquí de Zoom, para que se puedan unir los que no se han unido al grupo de WhatsApp. Listo, muchas gracias. Ok. Vamos a ver. A ver permítanme, por favor, porque de una vez voy consignando los eh, mensajes. A ver, luego tenemos Nancy Margarita Morán Morán. Present. I okay. apologize, my camera doesn't work. Oh, okay, okay. But please, um, when at the time of participating, if you are able to use the chat, please do it, okay? Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Present. Okay. Um, one second. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Present teacher. Okay. 
Raúl Ernesto González. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Okay. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Sí. Y um, José Miguel Torres Hernández. Present. Okay. You see, I didn't forget today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Okay, now we are going to continue. Just allow me to see you all. Okay, I want to see you all. I uh, see there are 17 of us, and I have on my list about 23. So we are missing a of you guys. Okay, only two with messages. Okay. Mm. Todos han podido ingresar a la plataforma. Hay alguien que haya tenido algún problema que tengamos que solucionar? Todos han podido entrar? Sí. Okay, ya se dieron una vueltecita por ahí. Ya vieron las tareas? Yes. Yes. Ok. Uh -huh. Bye. En la plataforma ustedes pueden trabajar sin detención, ¿verdad? Usted ahora quiere hacer la otra y probarse que usted lo entiende, dele. Y ya cuando demos la clase, usted corrige lo que le haya salido mal o no encuentra eh, la forma, ¿verdad? Eh, a ver, eh, tengo... Glenda, Glenda Toledo y Nancy Morán. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Ok, necesito que por favor me pongan su nombre completo, chicos. Ok. Por favor. Bien. Los que sí pueden tener la cámara encendida, por favor también, ¿verdad? Manténganla encendida para que nos veamos bien bonitos en el video. Ok. Todos así bien chulos. Bien. Okay, let's uh, switch into English again. And let's talk about the new topic, okay? The new topic for today. Even though we want to do some exercises first because we want to prepare a short presentation and you will be able to uh, use all the target vocabulary and the structures, but Allow me to introduce the class first, and then we are going to continue with the warm-up warm up activities. So the first thing I want to show you is this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like this. And you tell me, please, who is the most awesome person today, huh? Who is it? Me. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like this, right? Who is the most awesome person today? Todos señalense, okay? It's you, okay? So you are the most awesome person today. And welcome. Welcome to this uh, class. And we are going to see this. We have to make some feedback from the last class. We are going to introduce the present perfect tense when we launch a product, when we do presentations, when we create concepts of products, we use present perfect tense and we are going to um, practice a conversation, okay? So the topic for today, awesome people, will be how to use present perfect. How to use present perfect. I know you know this structure, but we are going to practice, okay? What is the objective for tonight? What is the objective? Aha. Uh -huh. Exactly that. Participants will skate 
the concept of product line expressing actions that started in the past and continue to the present. So we are talking about processes, right? Processes using sequencers. We are going to use these kind of adverbs. And also we are using some other time expressions to place the action in time. What time? Past, past. But we call it present perfect, but because it continues to the present, okay? So let's see what's the structure for the present perfect. And let's just remember what's the structure. Let's see. The present perfect tense, it's a compound tense, okay? It's a compound tense. And we use these auxiliary verb have plus the past participle. And if we conjugate the verb have, the third person will be has. Hmm? Also for he, she, it, we use the past participle form of the verb. It is the verb three in your verb lists. Then we have the negative form. The negative form is given by have plus not. Also has plus not, and we can make it shorter, like haven't and haven't, okay? We can make this short. Hmm. Plus the past participle, okay? This is the past participle form of the verb. So that form is the form three of the verb. In this mm, moment, we need to remember that there is no magic formulas here, right? There is no magic formula. We need to memorize the verbs. We need to memorize the present. We need to memorize what's the simple past. We need to memorize what's the past participle form of the verb. And to memorize, we have to memorize too that we have regular and irregular, okay? What are the regular verbs? Which ones are those? Regular verbs. What are the regular verbs? Do you remember these? They don't change the form in the okay. past and participle. And uh, it did at the last. Okay, that's in the most of the verbs, okay? That's most of the verbs. But there are some that mm, have a slight change, like doubling the consonant, or maybe that you have to change letter Y for the letter I, right? So we can't say exactly that they don't change at all. Maybe they have some changes, but they keep, the root, okay? They, they keep the root of the verb, okay? For example, the verb change. Mm -hmm. This is a regular verb, a regular verb. So we just add ed. Pero si yo solo le agrego ed, así, ¿verdad que estaría malo? ¿Qué tengo que hacer? We have yes, to... Happy. Drop letter E and keep the other E, right? So I drop letter E and add D, only letter D. Por eso no podemos decir así del todo que no cambian, ¿verdad? Porque probablemente, pues sí, 
algunos, ¿ok? Algunos de ellos sí cambian, pero solamente su terminación por las reglas de spelling. Entonces podemos decir que los verbos regulares, los regular verbs, son aquellos que mantienen la raíz, la raíz no cambia, ¿okay? la forma base del verbo, su raíz doesn't change, ¿ok? The root doesn't change. So we say change, changed. Pero tenemos otra cosa que considerar cuando vemos los regular verbs. ¿Qué es la otra cosa? Una es spelling, ¿verdad? Como por ejemplo, ese otro verbo. Hmm. Is this a regular verb or a regular verb? Is it irregular or is it regular? Regular. Regular, okay. What's the rule here, the spelling rule? Mm -hmm. In this word study, you change the Y for mm -hmm. I, E, D. Y for I and you add E, D. Exactly. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then we could say, for example, this other one. We could say this verb. Mm -hmm. Is this a regular or an irregular verb? Irregular. Okay. Mm -hmm. Regular mm -hmm. Y entonces, ¿qué le pasa a este verbo? Vamos a ver. ¿Qué, qué spelling rule tenemos por aquí? para pasarlo al pasado participio. Change the base form. Exactly. En los irregulares cambia completamente el verbo, ¿ok? Por eso ahí sí podemos decir cambia, ¿ok? It changes completely. Y tenemos que para el pasado pa eh, simple sería got. got. Y para el pasado participio? Got. 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 Ajá. Eh, no está mal para nosotros que, pues, no somos nativos del inglés decir gotten. Gotten. Pero en realidad hay que, en la pronunciación, esta E es como que no existiera. Y vamos a decir así, gutural. Gotten. Gotten. ¿Ok? Solo la T y la N. En la pronunciación, ¿ok? Gotten. Este es lo mismo como forget, right? Forget, forget, forgotten. ¿Ok? Entonces es como que solo mm, para atrás, ¿verdad? Hacemos como ya. Mm, mm, yeah? Así sería la pronunciación. Una T con una N suprimida, digamos, mm, aspirada. No, no podemos decir. Decimos gutural más bien. Ok, bueno, este es un irregular. Pero, a ver, la otra que tenemos por acá. Vamos a ver. Este verbo que tenemos por acá. ¿Qué le pasa a este verbo? ¿Qué cambio sufre? What doesn't are the change changes? The exactly. It doesn't change the spelling, right? But it does. It really change, it changes the pronunciation, right? We say read, red, red, okay? Read, red, like the color, okay? Ponemos ahí el, y solo cambia la pronunciation. Este es un verbo muy especial, right? It's a very special verb because I think it's the only one that happens or the only case. A ver, este otro verbo que tenemos por acá. ¿Qué le pasará a este verbo? ¿Es regular o es, es irregular? Uh -huh. ¿Qué le pasará a este verbo? 
este verbo no cambia. En American English doesn't change, ¿ok? Se considera dentro de los irregulares, ¿verdad? Pero no cambia. Quit, quit. Van a encontrar tal vez en algunos libros mmm, como quitted, así. Pero eso es British, ¿ok? Es British y es un really formal and old-fashioned um, language. In American English, quit is quit. You quit today and you quit yesterday, ¿ok? Vamos a ver este otro verbo. ¿Qué le pasa a este verbo? A ver. Ajá. Se mantiene el quit. Exactly. It's, it, it's the same case of quit, right? It's the same case. Cut, cut. Set es otro, ¿ok? Es otro verbo igual a estos. Ya. Yeah. Bien. Entonces, regresando a los regular. Vamos a regresar a los regular. ¿Y qué decíamos que debemos considerar? Necesitamos eh, ser conscientes que spelling rule, ¿ok? Y también hay pronunciation rules. ¿Sí? Y esto es sumamente importante. ¿Por qué? Porque si no lo pronunciamos correctamente, nos van a entender otra cosa, nos van a entender un tiempo diferente y pro probablemente tengamos o generemos alguna confusión, ¿verdad? Entonces, si no pronunciamos correctamente, también probablemente no vamos a comprender cuando nos estén diciendo ese verbo en ese tiempo verbal, ¿verdad? Entonces, we really need to consider the spelling rules and the pronunciation rules, okay? Allow me to go and move this. Let's start by achieving some of them. Okay, we're going to learn or practice, let's say practice some verbs. Here they are, here they are. In this table, we have some present or base form of the verb, okay? Here we've got, here we've got some um, past participle verb forms. So we need to add the base form of the verb. So let's try with this one, okay? Let's try with this one. Vamos a ver, lo vamos a hacer por tiempos. Vamos a escoger, a ver si se puede así nomás, a ver si paso de un lado a otro. No, no va a pasar. Vamos a escoger algunos por acá. Pero estaba bien. Okay, now we have 20. I mean, there are 20 of us. Ok, vamos a escoger entre ustedes alguien que va a pasar a hacer los verbos, ¿sí? Vamos a ver. A ver, mire si está su nombre por ahí. Mire si está su nombre. Look at, it. Look at if your name is right there. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. I'm there. Uh -huh. We're going to...
A ver, hay varios que no están acá, ¿verdad? Quiero sacar. Ok, démosle entonces, ¿verdad? Ok, ahí dice Blanca Jennifer, solo estamos probando que vamos bien aún quitando los demás. Vaya, vamos a ver acá. Voy a volver a compartir de forma distinta. ¿Qué es lo que va a hacer el que gane? Vamos a ver, el que, el que le toque acá, el, el rifado, el sorteado. The winner is going to go and... It's going to complete the first table, ¿ok? A ver, ¿lo dejamos que le ayudemos o que no? No, ¿verdad? Mejor no le ayudamos. Como no, le vamos a ayudar, ¿ok? Le vamos a ayudar todos. ¿Qué es lo que tiene que hacer él? Ah, tiene que ir diciendo, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, son alrededor de unos 30 verbs, ¿ok? Así que vamos a empezar a hacerlo, ¿sí? Voy a dar... Acá, a ver a quién le va a tocar pasar a hacer los verbos el día de hoy. Uh, 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 uh. Aquí dice que, miren, porque no se mira, ok, no se mira. I cannot move it. Pero ya les voy a decir que aquí sí dice quién es. Miren, who is it? Who is it? The winner is. Bárbaro. Congratulations, buddy. Ok, so, Nelson. Luckily. Yeah, Nelson. Ok. Ahí decía los dos. En fin de miro. Le damos de regreso. No, no. O no, participe. Que participen sí. los dos. Que participen los dos. Uno una tabla yeah. y el otro la Mix. otra tabla. Ok. One, one table and then the other, the other table. Ok, Rafael, a petición del público. Yeah. Welcome to the Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> ok. Ok, so I will share this. Ok. <laughs> Vaya, vamos a ver entonces. Uh -huh. Sí. Nos vamos para acá. A veces quiero ponerlos los dos juntos y, híjole, a veces me da un problema y a veces me sale bien fácil. Ok, vamos a ver. Se me está por allá. So here we are. No estamos todavía ahí. Hoy sí. Bye. Y lo vamos, lo vamos a hacer más emocionante. A ver, Wilber, por favor, usted ahí ponga el cronómetro. Usted va a controlar el tiempo. Solamente lo que alcancen a hacer en 30 seconds, ¿ok? En 30 segundos. Lo que alcancen a hacer en 30 segundos, ¿ok? 30 seconds. Okay, I'm preparing the chronometer. Okay. So, Nelson, Nelson, tell me, uh, can you go to the board? Can you get in? ¿Puede ir adentro? En la opción de annotate arriba. Ah, uh, okay. Ahí hay un lapicito. There is a pencil. So, you click on that. And then it displays a menu. Text. And that, yes, there you have text. Ah, uh, okay. You write and then we hit enter and then it's going to show up, okay? Ah, uh, okay. Hagamos una prueba, okay? Let's do a test. 
Ok. Eh, Nelson, start. Ok. La señorita pero eso no fue lo que dije. ¿En serio? Ay. Vamos a continue, continue, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Sí. Porque aparece dos veces. Ah, porque está Rafael haciendo la misma tabla. Rafael, pasa ah, a la otra tabla. Ah, <risa> ok, si quieres, entonces de nuevo. Uh -huh. Ok, ¿Cómo, ¿cómo borro eso? A ver, le vamos no, a poner... Borrador, el... borrador. Exacto, ver... ahí está el eraser. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Hay que darnos de Rafa. Uh -huh. Ok. Ese es nuevo para mí. Ah, ok. Ok, classmate and now. Ok. Lo que qué hacemos aquí, ya viste la hora, los chicos no se esperan, los siete sí, y piden la forma en que me hacen. Stop. Okay, stop, guys. Okay, then you have one, two, three, and four. Let's look at Rafael. Oh, I'm sorry, Rafael. What? What happened? What happened? A ver, yo creo que no le funcionó la herramienta, ¿verdad? Pero ahí They, está. Didn't work. En participio. Él le iba a pasar al. Excited yes, no to the base No entendí la. la... Ah, eh, okay. No entendí lo que tenía que hacer porque pensé ya está en, pas en pasado. Exactly. Entonces, entonces uh -huh. a este lado, a la base form. tiene que poner la base form. Ok, the base form. Ok, no problem, no problem. Vaya, dijimos que era un test, ¿verdad? Que estábamos probando, ¿sí? Vaya, ah. vamos a ver entonces. Vamos a ver entonces. Last time. Last time, guys. You too. Go. Ah, no, pero les va a decir Wilber. <laughs> the sign. Ok, guys. Eh, run. Ok, guys. Run. Ok, guys. Run. Ok, guys. Run. Ok, Only 30 seconds. Stop. Ah. <laughs> okay. There you go. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Okay. But there you go. There you go. Great. Great job. Great job. Okay. Undertaker. Undertaker. <laughs> uh, uh, nope. <laughs> okay. Vamos, vamos. Mm -hmm. I will clear all drawings y vamos a ir a escoger, okay? We're going to choose. Maybe I can do it from here. I don't know if I can do it. Let's try. Let's try and let's move just a little bit this thing. And let's put it right here. Is it okay? Can you see it? Can you see this? Yes. Si se mira the wheel? Yes, yes. Okay, there you go. So we're going to pin it right now, okay? Just allow me to do it. And Ooh, again, oh no way! Ah, eso okay. es racismo. <laughs> That's You're bullying. so lucky, Nelson. <laughs> wow. That's bullying. <laughs> okay, pero. Barbara <laughs> Nelson, yeah. Okay, there we go. Barbara Nelson. <laughs> Okay, the winner is Karen. So let's see. Ah, pongamos a dos entonces, okay? Karen is the first one and Woo! Woo! 
Nancy. Is Nancy here? Uh, oh, yes. There you are, Nancy. Okay, yes. Nancy. Let's try now. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, Wilbur, you're going to give the sign. Okay. Um, now. Which one is mine? Uh, okay. Uh, the first one here. And the second one, Nancy is going to be here. And here is going to be Karen, right? Karen. Okay, classmate, are you ready? Si saben cómo entrar a la pantalla? Okay, ahí está Glenda. Vamos a ver. Sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. You are trying, I mean, you're testing. Okay, look. Arriba, donde están dos botones, un botón verde y un botón rojo, donde dice que yo estoy compartiendo. Eh, arriba, ustedes le dan como movimiento al mouse si están en computadora, ¿verdad? Y les va a aparecer un menú en donde dice, da la opción de annotate. Hay un lápiz ahí. There is a pencil right there in that button. Luego, le dan clic ahí. Y también le vuelven a elegir annotate si no les despliega de una vez el menú. Si les despliega de una vez el menú, ahí está text, drawing, and all the features to proceed, okay? And si no está desde de computadora en el teléfono, en your phone, there is a pencil right in the middle of a circle, right in the corner of your screen, okay? Just... Move your finger over the screen and then slide your finger there and then it's going to show up. Okay? Oh, I see. Okay. I think. A ver, hagamos un test para ver que ya está ahí adentro. Haga un puntito así. Ahí está. Yeah, there you go, Nancy. Yes. A ver, eh, tenemos a Karen, right? Karen was there. Was it Karen? Se nos fue. Pero verdad que había salido Karen. Yes. Yes. Pero se nos salió. Creo que, vea que no la veo, no la veo. Ah, como no. Ah, oh, okay, now I see that she's just a listener. Okay, but she didn't inform me. I'm, I apologize, I, don't, I didn't know, okay? So now we are going to uh, choose another one, okay? Another student. Let's, oops, sorry. Wrong, wrong window. Here it is. Bárbaro Raúl, Raúl no está Raúl. Yeah, yes, there you are, Raúl. Okay, so this is your table, okay? This is your table. And Wilbur, give the sign. But okay. let me, let me, a minute. How okay. can I write uh, okay. in the yeah. in icon? Yes. Why okay. box? Are you from a cell phone or are you from a computer? Oh, in a in, in a desktop. Oh, all right. So you go right up at the top of the screen. You will find a menu. That menu has a pencil that it says annotate. So you click on annotate and it's going to display a sub menu. Okay. Uh, so in I get that it. menu, you just take the text option. Let me uh, test. All right. You can see that. No, until no. you hit enter, it's going to show up. There you go. No. Yes, we can see it. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, Happy okay. face. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we, were, okay. we wait for your sign. 
three, two, one. Now. Okay, time is up, guys. Okay, <laughs> time is up. We have from Raul. I had have... two. Okay, you have two. But did you have any other on the I screen? I had to clear too? everything for you because I told I could. Yes, I told oh, I can. Yeah, I remember you had in any in any any letter. Okay. And I don't. <laughs> it got deleted. Yeah, it got deleted. Okay. So yeah, I remember you wrote B and then you wrote a, the other one was? Yes, uh, the on next the B, one, right? yes. Okay, so you had three, three and then one, two, three, four. Okay, then Raul is the winner, right? Raul is the winner, yay, 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 yay. Okay, let's go back. I will clear all drawings and let's start back. So, mm -hmm. Ooh, the same. <laughs> okay, well, Ooh, thank you, thank you. Okay. Luckily. Uh huh. Woo! Okay, Blanca. I remember Blanca. Oh, Blanca was in there. Okay, vamos a borrarla, creo, ¿verdad? De la lista. Por aquí ya no vuelva a aparecer así. O ya ya está Blanca por aquí. Aquí estoy, teacher. Oh, sorry, I apologize. Pero dígame. Okay, vamos a ver. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we have Blanca, Blanca. And now your partner will be... Rosa, okay, Rosa, are you ready? Okay, Rosa and Blanca. Okay, to your sign, Wilbur. Okay, just let me know when you're ready. Blanca, are you ready? No puedo escribir. Ni yo tampoco. A ver, yo veo que por ahí está no Rosa. Uh -huh. Pero no puedo escribir. ¿Está desde compu o desde cell phone? Desde cell phone. Ok, no sé con el lapicito, con el lapicito. Ay, qué bueno, las dos van a estar eh, en, en iguales condiciones. Vamos a ver. Con el lapicito ustedes tienen que escribir así con el dedo, ¿ok? Y todo lo que vayan escribiendo va a ir apareciendo inmediatamente ahí. There we go. Mm -hmm. Ok. So it will be funny, ¿ok? So, we are there. Hoy sí pudo, okay. Blanca. Perdón, perdón, Wilber. Okay. ¿Encontró el lapicito, Blanca? Yes. Ok. ¿Cuáles son las eh, This ones. Okay. The, uh -huh. You have to write the past participle and uh, Rosa is going to write the uh, base forms. Okay, so in three, two, one. Ministerio de Gobernación. Uh, 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 
Nice. No me escribe el lápiz. Ok, okay. pero sí le dio clic al lápiz. Sí. sí Va, y ahí así lo tiene que hacer. Eh, tiene que ir dibujando, como que está dibujando. Ah, en está. El... Ajá, exactly, exactly. Ok. Ahí está. <laughs> Okay, then. Lo repetimos. Huh? Lo repetimos. Again. Yes, please, yes, again. again. Uh -huh. Now she got it, so we're going to repeat it. Okay, I will clear all drawings. Just along. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. You did it. No, oh, one second. Okay. Okay, classmate. In three, two, one. Now. And you didn't give any space to your classmate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Tripachuca. Yay. Uh huh. Okay. Uh-huh. And, and. Stop. <laughs> okay. Stop, guys. Stop, girls. Okay. Ese no estaba en confundí. Ah, okay, okay. Well, we have one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, what does it say in the last one? It says, a ver, ¿cómo dirás del final? Blanca, please, Broke. can you translate? Create, <laughs> provide, design, so, y broad. Abroad, okay, broad. there you go. Ajá, ajá. Okay, let's see those. Uh, it says have, drive, make, and what's the last one? Offer. Offer. Okay, there you go. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And this is a tight, yes. Tight, tight. There you go. Okay, people, we are going to stop there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we are going to clear all drawings and we will do it together. Okay, so uh, you are going to tell me, but this is the way we're going to do it. You are going to say they present base form, okay, the infinitive base form. And also you will say the past participle, but you have to spell it, okay? You have to spell it. So let's try this. Vamos a ir a los más basic points, okay? Y ustedes me van a decir, what's the past participle of the create verb, okay? Vamos a decirlo así, oigan. Create, created, C-R-E-A-T-E-D, okay? There we go. Vamos todos with this one. Mm -hmm. C-R-E-A-T-E-D. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Created, created, ah. okay? There you go. Sorry. Create, create, create. C-R-E-A-T-A-D. Okay, there you go. Next. Okay, next one. Decide. 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 So, broad. 
bra. Mm -hmm. bra. There you go. Mm -hmm. And R R R O O U U G A G T H. There you go. Next one. So, 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 so. S S O L L D. Okay, Tari. 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 No se me hagan los de los panes. Vamos a deletrear. We are spelling the verbs, okay? S U D I I D. Okay. Next one. Need, 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 L Y Y C Z D D D D D Okay. Undertook. Undertook. Undertook or under. Under. Taken. Taken. Okay. Undertaken. Uh huh. So it will be. Please. How do you spell this verb? U N E E R R A K E K N Take the past participle perform taken take taken T A K E N quiero oírlo a ustedes take 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 E -A. E -A. E -A. E -A. Okay, next one. Set. 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 Okay, there you go. Ha, huh, next one. C. 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 Sin, ajá, sin, S, I, N, M. Again, S, I, E, N, M. Okay, N, ajá, there you go. All right, and this one's only the base form, okay? Solo vamos a decir la forma base, yeah? So, what's the base form of cat? Have. Have. Have had, okay? Así lo vamos a ir diciendo, okay? Uh -huh. Drive, 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 en English, que tenemos dos letras y juntas y la vamos a pronunciar como pronunciamos esta otra palabra. Vamos a poner por acá. Así como hacemos el sonido de esta palabra. A ver si me sale. Casi no escribo así. No quiere. Woo! <laughs> there you go. So, como pronunciamos esa e, e, sit, así hacemos been, ok? Been. Es el único caso en todo el idioma inglés que van a encontrar esta pronunciación, así como que dijéramos la otra palabra de cesta, ¿verdad? Been. Been, cesta, donde usted guarda cosas, then that's a bin, or the trash bin. Um, es la misma pronunciación. Be, been. No es being. Porque being es el otro eh, que es el eh, progresivo, ¿verdad? El ing, the gerund. ¿Ok? There you go. Vamos a ver. This one. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Vamos. Direct. Direct. Mm -hmm. Direct. Ok. It has to be like um, subtle. Subtle. Tiene que ser un poco sutil ese da, direct, 
direct. Not directed. Mm -mm. Direct. D -d directed. Okay. Mm -hmm. No es directed, abierto, sino que es como esta. Prácticamente es como esta. Miren, es igual prácticamente. Sí. Next one. Uh -huh. Spanish. Ok, es el turno de ustedes de decírmelos porque yo más o menos me los puedo, ¿verdad? Entonces necesito que ustedes vayan practicándolos. So, what's the base form? And then you say the past participle. Ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vamos. Manage. 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 Managed. Yes, managed. Managed. Okay, there you go. Uh, next one. Free search. Research. Yeah, research. Uh -huh. Research. Research. And what's the past participle? Research. Present. Present. Okay, va, miren. Yo creo que no me han entendido. Y es porque quizás no han hecho ejercicios antes así, pero esta es la manera en que su cerebro los va a eh, eh, grabar, digamos. No hay otra fórmula mágica más que repetition. Repetition, ¿ok? So, lo mejor es que vayamos, incluso hasta con ritmo. Have, had, drive, driven, be, been, direct, directed, manage, managed, research, researched, present, presented. Okay, there you go. Continue. Evolute. Evolution. 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 Incorporate. 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 Make. 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 Manufacture. 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 Offer. 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 There you go. So now let's say these verbs. Create. Created. Provide, provided. Let's start. You are going to do it by yourselves, okay? So let's start by the first one. Create, create, provide, provide, decide, bring, brought, sell, sold, study, study, need, 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 analyze, 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 undertake, 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 take, 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 Ok, cuando tenemos una letra D y una letra T, la pronunciación de la ED tiene que sonar como ED. ED es este mismo sonido, fíjense, este mismo que hacemos en SET. Then we are going to say and created, provided, decided. En este que ya tenemos una I y otra E, Solo alargamos un poquito el sonido. No vamos a decir studied. Vamos a decir studied. Studied. Cerrado, ¿ok? Studied. Um, este que termina en D es como estos. ¿Cómo sería? A ver. Need. Needed. 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 Mm -hmm. Este que termina en Z o los que terminan en S. ¿Cómo vamos a decir este final ED? T. Like a T. Yes, like a T. So, analyzed. Analyzed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, vamos a ver. En estas, pues, ya sabemos. Ah, en esta, este fin, fin, 
sin, porque el otro es sin. Sin es pecado. Entonces tenemos que hacer y, y, ¿ok? No es que es pecado decirlo, no. La palabra significa pecado. S-I-N. S-I-N es pecado. So, uh, you have to say sin and sin. Okay? Different pronunciation. It's really important, the pronunciation. Uh, if you don't pronounce correctly, you are going to say something different, okay? And you are going to be misunderstood or maybe you are going to misunderstand. So have, had, 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 d, d. Usually we tend to say has, and it is not has, it is had, had, d, 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 at the end, right? Okay, vamos a ver con, la, con estos sonidos explosivos así como sh, okay, como sh. Van a ser como que estamos llamando a alguien, ¿verdad? Like that. Ajá, uh -huh. como hacemos sh, sh, igual, managed. Managed, okay. Uh, researched, yeah. Tiene que ser ese para que suene esa ese final. Okay, people. Is there any questions so far about this? Easy, right? Entonces, cómo armamos el presente perfecto. Por ejemplo. Con el verbo create, cuando vamos a presentar nuestro producto nuevo, ¿verdad? Nuestro avioncito de papel, our airplane, we are going to say, we have created, okay? We have provided. Mm -hmm. We have decided to create a new product, okay? We have brought the most innovative uh, product to your hands, okay? So we use have, has, plus plus participle when we present our ideas, okay? When we present our, dia our ideas, that's the use of the past participle. I'm sorry, uh, of the present perfect. So we are going to continue with this uh, process because the process that we want to learn today is that we need to sketch the product line concept, okay? Product line concept. But let's think about what's the concept of a product. ¿Se acuerdan que ayer estábamos haciendo eh, lo del avioncito de papel y nos quedó el último pedacito que no lo completamos? Yo ahorita acabo de hacer varias oraciones, okay? Acabo de hacer varias oraciones en las que podemos completar este concept development. Okay, you have to describe your product with the materials. Tell why people should be interested in it, in your product. So we have done, we have aided the most special of the tools that you can imagine, okay? Because you have to make people get interested in your product. So we are going to uh, place this, that this is not just um, a thing that came out of nothing, right? From nothing, no. It had a process behind. It had a team working. It had something supporting this product, okay? Maybe investments. And we want to show that to support our product, that the product is the best of what I'm offering to our new client, right? So we want to get the new client. I hope everything is understood here and let's remember that, okay? ¿Cómo podríamos decir ese eh, avioncito de papel? Alguien... Vamos, vamos a ver. José Miguel, ¿cómo podríamos dar el concepto de ese avioncito de papel? Um, Little airplane made out of paper. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Ok, comencemos ordenando la idea, ¿verdad? What is it? Mm, okay, it's an airplane. Okay, we are going to say this, como un sujeto, ¿verdad? This paper. Pero ¿quién lo creó? Who created this? 
we. Ok. Entonces, okay. nuestro sujeto es we. Uh -huh. Armemos entonces la oración en el presente perfecto. ¿Cuál es el, la forma de have para we? We. Have. have. Ahora, el pasado participio. Created. 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 Ok. Uh -huh. Created. A ver, armémoslo. We have created this paper airplane or, yeah, yeah. Mm. paper airplane. Mm -hmm. A ver, why oh. people should be interested in this? What's the need it's, it's fulfilling? Mm -hmm. We have created this paper airplane. Mm -hmm. For, someone said for. Or give a, For you. A, a happy moments, maybe, or a okay. funny moments. Utilicemos todavía un poquito más arriba de give. Y por ahí teníamos este. To. Acordémonos que usamos un infinitivo para un propósito, ¿verdad? Entonces, to provide. Mm -hmm, to provide entertainment. Eh, y dijo diversión. ¿Cómo dijo? ¿Alegría? No, dijo algo. Funny moments. Happy moments. Ok. Mm -hmm. To provide and to term in, um, entertainment and... Y como lo queremos hacer, así que de veras se van a interesar, ¿verdad? Le vamos a poner todavía más so superlatives. Ok. And the most... Happy or the happiest, okay? The happiest moment. Aha, y cómo va a ser eso? Acuérdense que tenemos que dar ahí a nuestra promesa, ¿verdad? Aquí viene it, qué es lo que estamos prometiendo que va a ser nuestro producto, okay? It's Ajá. easy to, to enjoy it. Easy to Enjoy. Ok. Easy to enjoy. Uh -huh. A ver, le vamos a poner el sujeto. ¿Qué es lo que es fácil de disfrutar? What is easy to enjoy? The paper. It, right? The plane. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Only need to follow the indications. You only need to follow The instructions. Ok. Mm -hmm. Follow the instructions. And scanning. Uh -huh. Scanning the barcode or the QR, right? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Ok. We have to be innovative. Ok. We necesitamos ser... In... Teacher, but they are child two years old. Uh, not exactly, because you... What's your target? Do they have the money to buy it? Who's going to buy it? Who's going to pay for it? Who's your target market? Parents. Parents, yay. And all the kids have the cell phone now. Mm, yeah, we have to open our minds. <laughs> But you're right. You're completely right. You're completely right. Okay. Si lo compran ahí así con una cora, pues sí, obviamente, ¿verdad? No, pero lo vamos a vender de a cinco pesos, ¿verdad? Okay. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Sorry for interrupt. Um, a little bit parenthesis. Okay. I remember uh, you told us yesterday the attendance is at 9 p.m. Yes, it is at 9 p.m. It was at 9 p.m. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, yes. Um, como ya se nos pasó casi la media hora, yo creo que la vamos a hacer a las 55, ¿ok? Está We're bien. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jose Miguel. I appreciate it. Ok, entonces, ¿para dónde usamos el... Pa presente perfecto, presente perfecto, the present perfect, lo usamos para compartir ideas que se originaron en el pasado y que ahorita tienen un resultado, pero todavía permanecen hasta que haya otro cambio o otro resultado. See, that's our timeline. 
As you usamos el presente perfecto. We are going to use something that started in the past. We want to describe the action. Maybe it's a process, okay? And then we get to the present and maybe it's going to continue after the present. We don't know. So it has different usages, okay? The present perfect has different usages. So let's go and check those usages because in our manual, we have... Uh, ¿Le van a tomar a esto screenshot? Ya lo tomaron. Casi no se ve, ¿verdad? Esto. No. Okay. Well, so let's go to our manual. In our manual, we have this. Um, just one second. In our manuals, we have. Did I close it? No. Here it is the usages and it says that we are going to use the simple pre i mean the present perfect when we want to <clears throat> express a thing that starts in the past and it continues or remains to the present maybe it's not going to say any specific moment because we are not going to say we have created this in this <coughs> Last week, no, we are going to say this indefinite, not placing this in a specific time, just in the general past, okay? That's the usage of the present perfect. So let's go at, and let's look at this on page 13, I think it is. Uh, yes, page 13. So uh, there we have a grammar box. Yeah, here we have a grammar box. This box explains how we build the statement. Okay, because we can have negative, affirmative, and also questions. So let's look at this. The present perfect tense expresses actions that were started sometime in the past at not specific time. The actions may or may not continue to the present or in the present. Use the helping verb have plus the past participle form of the verb that, that expresses the action. So let's look at the examples, okay? Let's look at the examples to understand all this. It says, example, the first question. Who wants to read the first question? And I'm going to be B. Have you lost your mind? No, I haven't. Okay. <laughs> Porque mira el significado. Okay. Have you lost your mind? Okay. Te volviste loco. Perdiste ya el sentido. ¿verdad? Have you lost your mind? Oh, yo creo que nunca alguien va a decir, yes, I have. Y si, quizás el que lo diga sería el sombrerero loco, ¿verdad? El sombrerero loco, las mejores personas la han perdido, ¿sí? Entonces, vamos a decir que para las preguntas, miren el orden de la pregunta. Aquí no usamos nada de otro auxiliar. El auxiliar es have. Okay. Then, we place the past participle form of the verb, but before we at the subject for a question. And this is a direct question and it has a yes, no answer. Okay, so have you lost your mind? Yes, I have. But if no, then you say, no, I haven't. Okay, let's read the next one. Have they always sold everything they offer? Who wants to answer? No, they haven't. No, they haven't. Or yes, they have. Have they always sold everything they offer? Yes, they have. Mm -hmm. They have very big production and they sell everything. Okay. No, they haven't. Or, or we can give a full answer. Okay. We can give a full answer. Always let's put in order our words, put in order, in order all our idea. And we are going to make a sentence. It depends if it is negative or affirmative. 
my answer, okay? So have they always sold everything they offer? Yes, they have sold everything they offer. Have they always sold everything they offer? No, they haven't sold everything they offer, okay? Vamos a ver, vamos a hacer este diálogo pequeñito, así rapidito. Vamos a escoger a dos de ustedes. Ana Lorena and Josman. I have it right here. So, Ana Lorena is going to be A and eh, Josman letter B. Pero lo vamos a hacer así. Lo va a preguntar las tres, pero ver, una, dos, tres, cuatro veces y las cuatro veces las va a re responder Josman. Ok, vamos. Okay. Have they always sold everything they offer? Yes, they have. No, they haven't. No, no, Or... wait, 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 wait. Ella le va a preguntar las cuatro veces. She's going to answer, I mean, she's going to ask four times and you are going to answer four times. There you go. Okay. Have they always sold everything they offer? Yes, they have. Okay. How they always sold everything they offer? No, they haven't. How they always sold everything they offer? Yes, they haven't sold everything they offer. How they always sold everything they offer? No, they haven't sold everything they offer. Okay, thank you very much. You did it. Great. Okay, vamos a ver el siguiente ejemplo, the next example. It says, has Alejandro created a new product line? Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Or yes, he has created a new product line. No, he hasn't created a product line. Okay, vamos a pedirle, así como hicieron sus compañeros, Rafael en Blanca, okay? Rafael is going to be A and Blanca is going to be B. Okay. Four times okay. for answers. Has Alejandro has. created oh. a new so. product line? Yes, he has, Alejandro. Eh, perdón, eh, Blanca. Um, yes, has he has. Alejandro. No, no, usted va, va a ser la respuesta del, del, okay. de la Sorry. B. Ok. Va, pregunta otra vez, Rafael, please. Ok, no problem. Has Alejandro created a new product line? Yes, he has. Has Alejandro created a new product line? No, he hasn't. Hey, has Alejandro created a new product line? Yes, he has created a new product line. Has Alejandro created a new product line? No, he hasn't created a new product line. All right, great, you did a very good job. Okay, vamos a ir a ver la conversacioncita de donde ha provenido esto, okay? De estos ejemplos. We are going to see the conversation right in the last page. It will be the page number 12. And this is the conversation that you're talking about right there, okay? Alejandro has created a new Papa sandwich for his cafeteria, Papa's food, fast food. His dad thinks it's not worth adding any more products to the menu. Read the conversation and answer the questions below. So Alejandro and dad are talking. What are they saying? Let's look at the conversation and we are going to go and practice the conversation and also the examples right there in the grammar box. Okay, so it says, dad, I have decided to launch the new Papa sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fries, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man, have you lost your mind? But dad, our clients love every single product we've come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think, It's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, hmm, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not working out of our time. If you think it's going to work, 
you're probably right. Okay, so let's listen to, okay, is there any questions so far about the conversation vocabulary? No problem with the conversation, anything? Okay, let's listen to Edwin, Antonio, and Jose Miguel. Jose Miguel is going to be the dad and Edwin is going to be Alejandro. Sorry, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, in the word, well, when Alejandro says extension and time to open a new branch, a new branch, it means a new brand? No, or, no. Or what? <laughs> okay, branch is como una nueva sucursal. Okay, branch is a oh, new okay. restaurant. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay, nice, thank you. All right, so let's start Jose Miguel and Alejandro, and I'm sorry, and Edwin, Antonio. <laughs> okay. Yes. I start. That I decide to launch to a new Papa Sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fries, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man. Have you lost your mind? But then, our clients love every single product we've come up with. We have always sold everything we offer the site. I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not working overtime. If you think it's going work, you are probably right. Okay, great job guys, great job. Aquí donde dice it's going, aquí falta todavía un to. Ahí se fue un dedazo, okay? To work. It's going to work, okay? And as we are going, I mean, you're, we are speaking past and we say it's going to work, right? Gonna or gonna. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, let's go to the breakout room and we're going to do this. ¿Saben qué pasa? Que cuando los mandamos al breakout room, dice, ¿y, ¿y qué es lo que íbamos a hacer? Usted tiene la página. Ay, mire. Teacher, usted no lo puso en el WhatsApp, lo hubiera puesto en el WhatsApp para que lo hiciéramos. Entonces, hay que irnos de una sola vez con todo lo que necesitamos y entendido lo que vamos a hacer. La otra cosa que pasa en el breakout room es que, mire, vea que solo eso había que hacer. Ah, va, entonces esperemos que nos llame. Y se quedan sin hacer nada. No, hay que aprovechar ese tiempo para volver a hacerlo over and over, okay? Over and over. Let, uh, go back and uh, uh, practice. Entonces, para evitar que se queden sin hacer nada, vamos a hacer esta discussion, okay? Ustedes van a hacer el fair work ahí en el break of room y al mismo tiempo van a practicar lo que hicimos ahorita acá. Las cuatro veces, las cuatro veces, las dos veces acá. ¿Ok? ¿Se comprende? Sí, yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, ok, teacher. Then. Uh -huh. Vaya, agarremos ahí el material que vamos a usar. Remember, in the manual, this is on page 12. And this is on page 13, the other one, okay? Page 12 and 13. Okay, now. ¿Tengo oyentes? Bueno, los voy a abrir y vamos a ver.
eh, teacher me puede volver a resignar al grupo. A ver, vamos a hacer una cosa. Primero, ¿le va a llegar una invitación? No, le dé a la segunda invitación, entonces le da que sí, porque no puedo hacerlo de otra manera. Ok, hoy sí. Miss Fátima, please join your room. I've decided to launch the new Papa Sandwich. It's going to make our brand more pop popular and capture more sales. Nelson, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's rice, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man. Have you lost your mind? <laughs> but Wilbur, <laughs> our clients love every single product we've come come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work. And I'm not working over time. If you think it's going to work, you're probably right. I bet it was. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Change the roles? Yes. Okay. okay. Nelson, I decided to launch uh, the new Papa Sandwich. I'm going to make your brand more popular and capture more sales. Wilbur, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fries, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man. Have you lost your man? <laughs> Everything they offer. No, they haven't. Have they always sold everything they offer? Yes, they have sold everything they offer. Have they always sold everything they offer? No, they haven't sold everything they offer. Okay. Okay, the first question. Has Alejandro created a new product line? Yes, he has. Uh, has Alejandro created a new product line? No, he hasn't. Has Alejandro created a new product line? Yes, he has created a new product line. Mark, you're probably right. Right. Okay. Um, vaya, respondemos las preguntas. Sí. Yo las preguntas las tengo acá, pero no las, no, la, no las tengo en captura, pero las tengo acá. O sea, las esas tienen no, captura. Esas no eran las que decían, pre prepare a brief presentation, a brainstorming, a, el idea screening, eran esas. No. What are Alejandro and his father talking about? Ah, pero entonces, ¿De qué está hablando Alejandro, su padre, prácticamente? Ah, Mis... son las que salían abajito. Esas no las capturé, pero, pero, ajá. Yo las tengo, si quieres yo puedo proyectar. Ah, va. Alejandro, su padre? Ok, se ve, ¿verdad? Esas. 
Vaya, entonces. Vaya, uh, what are Alejandro and his father talking about? They talking about the the lunch, a new, maybe a new menu or new products. Or uh, let me see, it's going to make new. Mm, a new a new a new brand uh -huh. papas burger papas fries papas salad papas chicken yeah, because up uh, say alejandro has create um i think Oy. don't worry continue ah okay <laughs> me asusté <laughs> yo dije a mí se me activó no it's okay Ah, okay. Uh, it says, have they both come to an agreement about the expansion of their product line? I think at the end, uh, he has an agreement with his son because um, it says, yes, it's more work. It's um, another new product and that. But at the end, he seems, he's agree. He thinks the song has a good idea. Yeah, for me to say it's the because it's agree about the special of the brother blind and but it's more work but the Alejandro that is is how do you say the acuerdo? Agree. Is agree with the idea. Okay. Next is that the teacher says we have to practice this question and the answer. Um, if you don't mind, I can start first. Well, I be letter A. Have you lost your mind? Yes, I have. <laughs> uh, have you lost your mind? No, I haven't. The expansion, the expansion. We will work. He said he's probably right. But yes, to be probably right, but that is not ready to accept the idea, the song idea. Some suggestion. So the answer could be uh, they are not come to an agreement. Agreement. Uh, like that, he thinks uh, that that thinks uh, um, at the beginning, he thinks it's too much work. He thinks they have a lot of products and it's not agree with that. But at the end, he says like something like, uh, you can do that if you want, but I'm not working overtime. Mm -hmm. He leave the work for the sun, but he okay. don't pro prohibit. Probably it's not certain. Mm -hmm. If an agreement, yeah. when, enough of agreement. Find hmm. more about basis of the blanket. What about your answer? Mm. Yeah. Sí, es como lo, lo mencionaba, este, estaba el, eh, es un tipo de acuerdo, like an agreement, pero el papá sí. prácticamente sí. le dice, este, si tú crees que funciona, y yo think that it works, puede que estés en lo cierto. Tu But dad, our clients love every single product we come up with. We have always sold 
everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I do not want to hear you complain about having so much work. And I'm not working overtime. If you think it's going to work, you're probably right. Okay. Uh, answer the question another time? Yes. Okay. What are Alejandro and his father talking about? They are talking about the new, the new idea. The two Alejandro. new ideas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For lunch, the uh -huh. new papas. The new papa and sandwich? The, uh -huh, the papa sandwich. And to open a new branch. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, is Alejandro that enthusiastic about his song suggestion? No. I think that he's he's thinks it's a bad idea. Yes, because, because he have a, another potatoes already no. the, his his branch. Yes, his branch. Uh, have oh. they both come to an agreement about the expansion or the pipeline? Yes, yeah, finally he accepted. Okay. Miguel. Somebody's watching you. <laughs> it's Michael Scott. Okay. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> Yay. Uh -huh. It's the office series. Oh. You never saw before. Yes, I have. Yes, I have seen it. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, look, guys, is there any question about the activity? Did any dot come up when you were practicing your conversation and all this activity? No dots. No, no dots. Great, great. Okay, I listened to some of you and my feedback is that you have to open your mouths, okay? Abran su boca, aunque sientan que es exagerado, su cerebro lo va a ir grabando, pero si yo mantengo cerrado, si no voy a poder pronunciar muy bien, ¿verdad? Sí puedo por el español porque es mi idioma, pero ya otro idioma, no, no, sí, no se va a poder, ¿verdad? Por ahí escuché muy buenos eh, acentos con, eh, que han aprendido a pronunciar la letra F. Salvadoran people have that difficulty. Eh, todos los salvadoreños tenemos ese problema de la letra S, ¿verdad? Siempre decimos a las 11, a las 8. And we want to pronounce that way in English. And it's not possible. So we need to um to push right our brains but do we need exaggerated okay in an exaggerated way like over open yeah over open your mouth okay mouth yeah no importa que sientan que está un poco eh, exagerado okay en lo que yo escuché vamos bastante bien what i heard i can say that we are in on the way we need to be. Okay, people, it's time, 9.55. Voy a tomar la asistencia. I will take 
y attendants, but when you hear your name, you are not going to say present, okay? What are you going to say? A verb in present tense and the past participle form, okay? There you go. Everybody thinking about your verb. Mm -hmm. No van a decir presente. Present and past participle of that verb. Okay, ready? Ready? ready. Okay. Ready. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Make, made. Uh, again, again. Make, made. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. there you go. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. Sell, so. Great. Uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Get, get. Again? Get, get. A new. Go back. Get. Gotten. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotten. Gotten. Uh -huh. Because the, past, the simple past is got. Gotten oh, is the past yeah. participle. Okay. Oh. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. El que no me lo get. diga, le vamos a poner falta. Oh. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. I was with Carlos y otra vez a Carlos Eduardo le interrumpí. Perdóneme. I really apologize. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Forget, forgotten. Yeah, there you go. Great. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Bring brought. Yeah, bring brought. Okay. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Um, eh, need, need, need. Needed. Así sin miedo need. ese ed al final. Need, needed. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Right, right. Again. Right. Right. Again, just to, uh -huh, the pronunciation. Yes, right, right. Okay, la pronunciación del de pasado participio de right sería written, written, como el drive driven, okay? Right, written, okay, written. No es written, it's written. Vamos a ver. Thank you very much, Edwin. Uh, pero lo quiero oír que lo diga. A ver. Right, written. Yes, there you go. I like your pronunciation. I was going to tell you, Edwin. Me encanta cómo pronuncia la letra S. Me gusta mucho. You are doing a great job. Okay, let's look at Elise. It's not, right? Okay. Fatima Noemi Umaña Castro. Ah, she was a solicitor, right? Okay. Uh, Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. Va, el que no diga los verbos no le, van a, no le van a dar quesadilla ahora. Vamos a ver. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Want, wanted. Yay, wanted. Yes, wanted. Um, Josman Alfa, uh, perdón, Atilio Serrano. Decide, decided. Yes. Karen Iset Sánchez Castro. Miss Karen. Nancy Margarita Morán Morán. Take, take him. Yes. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Forgive or forgiven. Yes, Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Burn, burn. Okay, great, great. Uh -huh. Raúl Ernesto González. Uh, go, went. Uh, the past participle. Uh, gone. Yes, gone, uh -huh. <laughs> gone. There you go. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. 
Miss Rosa. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Juan. Juan. Again. Juan. Run. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because it's run, ran, and run again. Okay. There you go. Jose Miguel Torres Hernandez. Become. Yeah, become. There you go. Great. Mm -hmm. There you are. Okay, people. So this was a very good class. I think. Well, I felt good. I don't know about you, but I hope you have enjoyed learning the past participle and the present perfect here. Okay, uh, por ahí, ah, perdón, creo que no le di submit. Eh, estaba, en un ratito le voy a dar submit a, esa, a ese post para que ustedes puedan ver un video y luego ustedes van a copiar las oraciones que escuchan. Es acerca de un lanzamiento de un producto, entonces van a escuchar las oraciones que se dicen en él usando el presente perfecto, ¿ok? Ustedes van a hacer eso, es, eh, las van a escribir y van a submit your answer, ¿ok? Bien. Eso es en la, uh, para los que son nuevos, ¿verdad que tengo varios nuevos? Hoy día me di cuenta que tengo varios nuevos que no han tomado un curso acá. Hay una plataforma, en la plata, perdón, hay una eh, viñeta en la plataforma en donde ustedes van a entrar a hacer su discussion. Ok. A ver, déjenme abrirle un extracto. Así rapidito porque ya es pasada la hora. Ahí en esa discussion label, usted va a encontrar las, los posts. ¿Qué hace la teacher? Entonces, hay dos maneras de entrar a eso. Es por este lado de acá, yéndose por donde está la clase del día de hoy, que todavía no está el video puesto, ¿verdad? Porque es el que estamos ahorita grabando. Entonces, usted se va a... You, you scroll down, usted se va hasta abajo. Y... Uh -huh. Ah, sorry. Uh -huh. You don't you don't share your, your your screen before, but right now, yes. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. I'm sorry. No, the 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 screen before you don't share, but right now, yes. Oh, okay. Entonces, acá tenemos la plataforma. Aquí vamos a encontrar, eh, usted le va a dar hasta abajo, ¿verdad? En la plataforma usted se va a la sesión del día de hoy, 1.2, y nos vamos a ir hasta abajo. Y aquí abajo está la discussion, ¿ok? Esa es una. Y la otra forma de entrar es por acá, ¿ve? Por este lado. Aquí dice discusión y si lo tiene en English, it says discussion. Te le da ahí y en donde dice... Mientras carga esto, acá le va a desplegar un listado. Si no le desplega de una vez el listado, se va a todos los temas, ¿ok? Y le van a aparecer acá. Cuando yo le dé submit a mi eh, configuración de la actividad, les va a aparecer acá y ya ustedes pueden entrar a practicar, ¿ok? Y ver el video, etc. ¿Estamos bien? Bye. Y eh, la sesión del día de hoy es para el número dos en la lista y es para Blanca Jennifer. No sé, Blanca salió, ¿verdad? No sé si no. quisiera quedarse. Blanca, ¿quiere quedarse yeah. a su eh, sesión? Ok. Then everybody have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Take care. You too. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, algo que había olvidado. Yo mañana, por, pues, bueno, los miércoles por cuestiones de trabajo salgo un poco más tarde. Al inicio estaría solo como escucha, pero creo que antes de la mitad ya voy a poder voy a estar libre, voy a poder activar cámara y todo. No sé okay. qué tanto afecta eso. Eh, se le descuenta un poquito en su porcentaje porque como es por sistema, ¿verdad? Que se va contando los minutos conectados, pero usted 
en cuanto no más pueda, conéctese. Yo voy a poner ahí que usted ha comentado que eh, por razones de trabajo entro tarde. Es, okay. que, es que me voy a conectar desde el inicio, solo que el inicio voy a estar ah, con okay. escucha. No, no le afecta. No le afecta. Ah. Va contando los minutos y yo voy a tener la consideración, ¿ok? okay. Bye. Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah. Ok, bye bye and have a good night. Hello, Blanca. Just give Hello, me one teacher. second. How are you today? How do you feel? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se siente? How do you feel? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Okay, great. Is there any question that I can assist you with? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta en la que yo le pudiera ayudar con alguna duda? Mm -hmm. Hasta el momento, estamos aprendiendo. Mm, todo memorizarse los verbos. Yes, that's the formula. Yeah, that's the formula. Sí, mm -hmm. es hacer el tiempo para poder memorizarlos, aprenderlos. Exactly. And you know what you can do is just to repeat the things that you see. For example, I can see, I mean, if I'm going to drink coffee, then drink, drank, drunk. Okay. Then I've, mm -hmm. I, I, Yes, I come up with it, the idea, right? For example, if I say I made, okay, I made, made, okay? Some of them are different in the three forms, so we have to be careful. And all other thing that you have to do is to pronounce correctly. So you say, for example, I call, I called, I called with the letter D at the end, right? Call, call, call. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or for example, mm, I make up, I made up. Okay. Then uh, whatever you are going to do, then you're going to repeat those verbs, those actions. For example, if you go to take a bath, then you say, I take a bath, I took a bath, I have taken a bath. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's the way that you can practice. Cada acción que usted haga, cada cosa que usted haga en su mente, o si lo puede decir, Hágalo, ¿ok? Es la mejor manera para que se le vaya quedando, ¿ok? Yeah, Ajá. Sí, porque a veces no podemos hacer la hora completa, ¿verdad? De que nos vamos a sentar y voy a empezar a memorizar. No. Entonces, es con el día a día y con cada acción, cada movimiento que hago, ¿verdad? Es la mejor manera, siento yo. A mí me funciona y mm -hmm. se la comparto, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. A ver, ¿alguna opinión, alguna cosa que quisiera comentarme? Mm, me parece bastante entretenida la clase y divertida porque no se siente en las dos horas. Okay. ¿Y usted ha estado aquí en, en los cursos anteriores? Sí, ya voy a tener, no tengo un año que inicié de principiante. Ok, ok. Pero todavía me cuesta bastante. Oh, claro, es que esto es de práctica. Esto es de práctica sí. todos los días. You must practice. Uh -huh. sí. Al principio era solo una hora. De ah, esta. so you changed the program. Ajá, era el curso de una hora. Entonces ahí es bastante, poqu hace poquito lo que sea, mira, no, no, no aprende mucho aún. Este, estoy aprendiendo más de que son dos horas. Uh -huh. Pero este uh -huh. sería el segundo módulo de dos horas. Ok, es que este es intensivo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Este es más intensivo, es cierto. Eh, y aquel es de 16 horas, este es de 40 horas. Uh -huh. Sí, yeah. así empecé con una hora, entonces ha sido bastante lento el aprendizaje. Ok, pero ayuda un resto ese de una hora porque es el inglés de día sí. a día, ¿verdad? Es como el inglés más coloquial, más de todos los días, ¿verdad? Como más básico. Uh -huh. Sí, lo básico. Exacto. Sí. Uh -huh. ¿Hasta qué nivel llegó en el de una hora? Este, preintermedio. Ah, ok. So, uh, that's good. That's good. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno, cualquier cosa usted sabe que estoy a la orden. Usted me puede contactar por medio del WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Si tiene alguna duda. Y también, eh, si alguna pregunta o algo, también la puede hacer o alguna opinión, o si encuentra algún material que cree que le pueda ayudar a sus compañeros, usted lo puede compartir ahí por el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. 
hoy. Así que estamos a la orden para apoyarla en lo que necesite para lograr el objetivo juntos, ¿verdad? Okay. okay. Okay, then, Blanca. Have a very good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye.